Hello friends, welcome into another video. Today we are going to be talking about the killer data that was released by Behavior in the recent developer Q&A stream. This data was recorded from December 16th to January 16th, and I think it's kind of interesting. So I'm gonna throw that right up on the screen, look at it yourself, pause the video if you need to, uh, look around, you know, I know the main thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to find your killer, and I think, you know, whoever your main is, that is, and uh, I think just in case there's any anything about it that's kind of uncertain, the numbers show who is the most popular killer. So at 58%, I'm not, I'm sorry, not most popular. That's my bad. Uh, who has the highest killing percentage? Uh, right now that's the Cenobite with 58.62% and the lowest is the nurse with 49.25%. So that's the general layout of this. Uh, so go on and look and see how popular <laughs> your killer is. But then one thing they didn't organize for us, but they gave us the numbers so that we could do it ourselves, is how popular each killer is. Who's playing who, you know? And in this instance, the overwhelming most popular was the Huntress at 8.01%. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take these numbers and I wanted to see if there was anything we could find that was kind of interesting in them. So my main takeaways were obviously who's most popular, who's least popular, who's killing the most, who's killing the least. And that's one thing I actually did in a little impromptu chart here. I just threw this together in Photoshop real quick. So I'm going to throw that on the screen. I called it my main takeaways. And let's go through these really quickly. The top five most popular killers currently in Dead by Daylight are the Huntress, the Artist, the Wraith, the Trapper, and the Nurse. Now, is this super surprising? No, I'm I'm not super surprised because Wraith and Trapper make a lot of sense. They are beginner killers for a lot of people, which is not to say that only beginners play them, but it's to say that beginners play them overwhelmingly. You know, uh, while plenty of people play these killers, if you look at who beginners are playing, obviously the base killers in the game are going to be the ones they gravitate towards, and both Trapper and Wraith are far easier to use than, say, Hillbilly. So I'm not very surprised by that. Um, I would say that this is about where I expected where I expect them to be. Um, I would say Artist is one who will probably fall from this list at some point, but she's the most recently released. And, you know, it, it's not shocking. It's not shocking that she's, uh, that she's seeing healthy play because she's recent and she's actually pretty good. So that's a good recipe to be in this list. Nurse, very interesting that she's in the top five most popular, but also number one in the lowest kill percentage. Everybody knows Nurse is the best killer in the game. Obviously people are going to play her and try to get good at her so that they can stomp Survive with Friends squads. And most people don't end up making that climb, but pl plenty of people give her a try and see what they can do. Uh, Huntress at number one. I mentioned this in the video last night. I'm not surprised she's number one. She is debatably the most fun killer to play as, which I understand is a very subjective thing. But then beyond that, she's also actually really, really good. So you get a killer that's fun to use, but but is also rather good. As opposed to, if we go down to the least popular, I see uh, Pig down here at number five. Pig is the fifth least popular to play, despite the fact that her mechanics are actually pretty fun. Why is she not popular? Because she's just not that good. She is not that effective of a killer overall. Uh, the other killers that are in the least popular are the twins, the Cenobite, the Nightmare, the Hag, and the Pig. And one thing that's important to point out here is actually that the twins were overwhelmingly the least popular. They were the only one that couldn't even get 2% of the player base uh, playing as them. So twins... Whew, it's it's bad and it's kind of a shame because their ceiling is so damn high, but a lot of people just don't seem to like them. And that's interesting to me, but we do know a rework is coming. Uh, we know that we know that Legion and Ghostface are going to be looked at, and then after that, it looks like it's going to be the Twins' turn. I hope they actually don't end up changing too much because I do like the Twins. I think the Twins are a really cool concept, and I, I'm kind of bummed out to see them in the bottom, but, you know, what are you going to do? At number two, I'm really surprised that Cenobite, Pinhead, is the second least popular because he's decently powerful, he's from a recognized franchise, and he's the second most, uh, the second most recent killer added to the game. I am shocked, right? I'm shocked. I would say this is, the, this is the one that surprises me the most because while I wish more people would play Twins, I'm not surprised people don't. 
But Cenobite or Pinhead, I'm just going to call him Pinhead because come on, we all know he's Pinhead. Uh, Pinhead is great. I really like Pinhead and I'm pretty surprised people aren't playing as him. But I think it might just be that it requires too much skill to play him when he's a middle of the road killer. If he were as powerful as Blight or Nurse or somebody like that, people would be okay with the skill required to play him. But because you do have to angle those chains and good survivors can easily make you miss... Um, you know, unless you're good yourself. Yeah, I, I get it. I'm just kind of disappointed by it. Next up, we have Freddy at number three. And look, who enjoys playing as Freddy, right? Freddy, what I find with Freddy is it's just like DC simulator. People hate playing against him too, apparently. So I think that may play a certain role in it. And uh, I think Freddy is just a good example of a killer who's been jerked around one way and the other so much that people no longer really know how they feel about him. They don't know what to expect with him. So... <sighs> Man, I don't know. Freddy, I think at one time he was one of the most fun killers in the game back in his base form. But obviously people didn't like it and they complained about it and they got it changed. And then he went and he became one of the strongest killers in the game. And now he's been nerfed back down and he's one of the weaker killers in the game. And I just, I think people are tired, man. I just think people are tired of the whole Freddy experience. Speaking of tired, let's talk about the hag. There, I, there's no, there's no surprise that she's this low, right? Everybody knows how good she can be, but also how well you have to play her and set things up and how many things have to break your way to have a truly great hag game. This is a killer that requires a lot of patience, a lot of planning. Uh, I'm not surprised that she's this low. And you may say, hey, wait, but the trapper's in the top five. Yeah, but he's he's kind of a he's kind of a noob trap, right? This is he's on the cover of the game. He's the guy in all the marketing. This is the guy that people come to the game and they're like, well, obviously I'm going to play the Trapper first. <laughs> Hag doesn't have that going for her. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't know. I think if she was on the cover, she and Trapper would trade places, but she's not. So she's not. And uh, I'm not super surprised she's down here. I am a little disappointed Pig's down here, but I use the word disappointed, not surprised. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, Pig's fun. Pig's fun. She's just not super good which would actually seem to conflict with the kill percentage info. So let's jump into that and see that uh, there's actually kind of this funny thing where the least popular, uh, three of the five least popular are also in the highest kill percentage. Now, you could argue that's because there's a smaller pool, but eh, I, I don't think so because, you know, you have some of them like uh, uh, number two is Cannibal, Bubba, and he's one of the he's one of the more played killers. I think, I think he was just outside the most popular, somewhere like uh, six or seven. So he's definitely up there. He sees pretty good play time and he has a lot of kills. Uh, Plague sees decent play time and she has a lot of kills. So I don't think it's necessarily the smaller uh, size. I think it's that with, with the Cenobite, the people who have decided to use him are actually gifted in that they have really, really strong add-ons to work with. Obviously, Pig just got a buff to a lot of her add-ons. Freddy, that one shocks me. The only thing I can go with is to say he's still a bit of a noob stomper. And I guess I should have mentioned this way earlier, but these numbers are not for red ranks. These are for all players. This is for the entirety of the game. And I do think that if you went to red ranks, you would see this list change dramatically. I don't think Pig would be in there. I don't think Nightmare would be in there. I'd be shocked if Cenobite was in there. Um, so it, this is for all players. And I think that the lower you go in the ranks, the more that things like reverse bear traps and fake pallets actually start to bother people. So... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not super surprised by that. Next up, we do have the lowest kill percentage. Uh, Nurse, nobody's surprised she has the lowest, right? The small portion of players that play Nurse and they're just absolutely cracked, yeah, they're averaging 4Ks. They're doing great, right? Uh, the rest of the player base, you're going to have some rough games. In fact, I would say if you want to get into Nurse, prepare for no fewer than 100 rough games in your journey to learn her. Uh there is a learning curve here. It is very real and it's very painful. We keep with the trend of some weaker killers going on here with number two Trickster, three Twins, four Doctor, five Deathslinger. Uh, twins I don't think are weak. I actually think they're rather strong. But then outside of that, yeah, none of these are especially strong. I will say I am very, very surprised Doctor's in here because you want to talk about a noob stomper. This is a guy who should clean up just based on the Ash ranks alone. I am very, very surprised that the Doctor is this low. I would say that 
if you had told me he was either in the highest kill percentage or the lowest kill percentage, not only would I have said he was in the highest, I would have said he was top three. I would have thought this is a guy who's killing it at the low ranks. So I don't know if it's just that he's not doing well at high ranks and it's really costing him or what, but uh, this is this is brutal for him. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is really surprising to see him down here. I'm not surprised Deathslinger. I think that the nerfs to him have definitely hurt his percentage. And he was already a high skill ceiling killer anyway. Uh, a very a very tough killer to get into and learn the intricacies of is as much as that may sound funny for the guy whose entire power is just gun. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not super surprised by this. Um, as I look over the list, I would say that most of this is pretty much how I expected it. I'm, I'm very surprised by the lack of popularity for the Cenobite. I'm surprised by the lack of lethality for the doctor. Um, I'm definitely surprised that Pinhead is the best killer. Per, th per this data, even though we know that this is nowhere near the way to like make a tier list or anything like that, right? I mean, this is this is considering literally everyone that plays the game, not just the people that play it well. Um, just to just to toss it out there, uh, I guess kind of three more that caught my attention that I don't have on here. Um, I look at Clown. I'm a Clown main. He is doing very poorly both in terms of. Uh, both in terms of kills and how much he's played. So he's actually sixth in lowest kill percentage. So if we had gone to the top six or bottom six, I guess he would have been in there as well. Uh, and then only 2.87% of people are playing him. So pretty pitiful numbers there. Uh, he would, I think that makes him the seventh least popular. Um, very, very bad showing for clown here. Unfortunately, hillbilly is another one of the OG three and in terms of in terms of how much he's playing, he's actually the seventh least popular. So I, I talked about um, I talked about the popularity of a lot of these. Um, and, no, he's not the seventh. I'm sorry, I, I skipped a few. I, I wasn't looking that properly. He's the seventh least effective. His his kill percentage is the seventh worst, which is not surprising. The nerfs and the nerfs and the nerfs. I'm not surprised that his lethality has been brought way down. But you know, he's still pretty pretty nutty when played to the highest ability. Um, so yeah, I mean overall, is he is he super popular? No, but he's definitely uh, I misspoke, and he's well above the likes of Clown, Deathslinger, even Demogorgon, who's not doing super well. And that's the other one I wanted to talk about was uh, obviously Demogorgon has left the game, and I'm going to be very interested. Let's say a year from now, let's say two years from now, when they give us this killer information, if we assume that at no point in time does the Demogorgon come back to Dead by Daylight, is there any chance? That they're not that it's not going to end up in the bottom five. I mean, eventually it's going to fall there as people literally can't buy that killer that are getting into the game. Uh, so very interesting. But currently, Demogorgon's doing mm, all rightish, I guess, in terms of play, but not a ton of people are playing them. It's still under three percent, so not great numbers there. But uh, I think that's going to do it. I don't really have much more that I wanted to say. Um, I'm a little surprised that a lot of killers I don't think are very high tier are doing rather well. But then you do have some like uh, like the Blight is also in the top 10 most effective. So he has a bit of a high learning curve as well. So I'm kind of surprised he's up that high despite how good he is. But uh, yeah, these are fun, fun numbers to look over. And I'd be interested to know, you know, hey, what, what do you think about it? How'd your killer do? Is your killer, you know, are they showing out? Did they show up at all? Uh, you know, join me in Clown Gang if you if you feel like maybe your killer could use a little love from the dev and do remember that if you are a ghost face main or a legion main help is on the way reworks are coming not only are they coming but they're imminent i think that the time frame that's been given to us is we're about to get one of the main chapter updates with uh, the ring the ringu chapter and then in the mid chapter update they're expecting the ghost face and legion reworks so we'll see how that goes but until then that's going to do it for me i uh, i hope you enjoyed this one please do consider liking and subscribing until next time i've been dust food Bye, friends.